Hello, happy to see you on our channel. Today we bring you a piece of breaking news from Globe magazine. Meghan Markle is out of her mind. She takes advantage of both her husband and son. When they lived in Tyler Perry's house, we were told the neighbors were complaining a great deal. Naturally, they didn't want the paparazzi snooping around, didn't want drones and helicopters flying overhead. But then it was true that they did, or was it about putting Megan that they were being bothered by media intrusion and even that the neighbors were complaining? Megan would hate to have gone unnoticed for so long, and maybe she, sorry, a friend, told the media where they were living so the paps could find them. Maybe the same is true now, and the drones and helicopters are, in the main, a figment of a fertile imagination. On the other hand, maybe the disturbance is real, and Montecito and Santa Barbara really are being overrun with tourists in the hope of catching a glimpse of the pair. Sorry, neighbors, but lucky for shops and restaurants. It was about six weeks before we learned they had moved to Montecito, a long time for Megan to endure life without media coverage of any kind. So she and Sunshine Sachs told the media where they were. Then Megan was only herself to blame if none of the neighbors want to talk to them, entertain them, or have anything to do with them. Her controlling ways are aggravating the situation. The more they hide, the worse the aerial intrusion may be. The one who concerns me in all this is Archie. Where are the kids he should be playing with? Where are his friends? If he never has to share toys with other children, he's going to think everything belongs to him. Megan, get out, walk about with Archie. Let the paps get their free photos from you. They get paid by the news media for them. That's their job. The more you do it, the more they will leave you alone. But that scares her. Out of sight, out of mind. If she wants neighbors as friends, the best she could do is to go out and about, meet the neighbors, invite them round for a barbecue and a dip in the pool, whatever, and behave like you're a normal person. I understand your old friend, Nina Capriti, that once you were just that. There are photos in the magazines of all these celebs out and about, masked, of course. What are Meghan and Harry doing in there? I seriously think Meghan must lock Harry and Archie in a room most of the time. What are they never seen together ever? Meghan only literally drags Harry to PR puff fodder charity events for 10 minutes every so often. Archie is old enough to be healthy and hardy to withstand normal exposure to things. The virus much of a threat to healthy young people. And his parents aren't at a high risk either, being under 40 and in good health. Why is Harry never seen out with Archie? Megan doesn't seem to be very motherly. He's probably a pest in her eyes, and she'd never want to be seen with baby barf or something on her. So I can see her never taking the kid out. But what about Harry or Doria? Is Marcus still around? It's all so bizarre. It's not a need for privacy. Megan thrives on camera flashes, and there are bigger and better stars all over the place for Paps to focus on. It's a control and monetary issue. She wants to control the pictures of her and copyright them so she makes money. If there are many free pictures, then the media won't need to buy her copyrighted ones and she'd lose money. That's why she always takes her own photographer. But it's hardly likely to endear her among her would-be friends and neighbors. I should think she's becoming the laughing stop in Montece Montecito with all these goings on. She can't have it both ways, a quiet neighborhood and friends or continuing as she is and alienating everyone. Meghan and Harry are not paying a million dollars a month to Sunshine Sachs for nothing. Hence the slobbering twaddle they print daily. There is nothing normal about her. She is so fake. I feel sorry for anyone who's in her path. But he did choose her, so it does say something about him, too. The whole thing is a tragedy, but I hear they got a $100 million contract with Netflix, so they will have a lot to do to make that worthwhile for Netflix. You would have to pay me to listen to her. Should Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, and Archie expect a right to privacy while in public, or should photographers be allowed to take photos and sell to the media? 
There is no right to privacy on a public street. That's not even an issue. It's the practice of sending drones in to take photographs of them in their backyard that's at issue. Photographers should be required to obey safety rules, which at present, they aren't. They've been known to climb trees and use telephoto lenses to get what they want. Those photos of Megan walking her dogs in Canada were taken that way. They've been known to stand in front of cars, and sometimes cars have run over their feet trying to get away from the photographers. What we don't realize is that someone passing as a photographer could just as easily have a gun in their pocket, and someone could be shot. When you're going to get your picture taken, you're going to take some care with your appearance. Celebrities aren't given that choice. At any time, someone could jump in front of you for that perfect shot of you looking upset because they jumped in front of you. I do think that photographers need some laws about what is and isn't fair game. Children, for instance, subject to possible kidnappings and unable to give any consent should they not want to be photographed in the street. Over the years, many children of celebrities have spoken of the terror they felt at being stalked everywhere they went, including school. We know how they chased Diana through the streets, which eventually led to her death. Should photographers be allowed to photograph Megan and Archie and Harry? In a public street, yes. Nowhere else without express permission. No drones, no hiding in trees, no chasing them down in cars, no trying to stop a car while standing in front of it while taking photos. If you drop the idea of Meghan and Harry and their child, it just made it any celebrity then. Maybe it's easy to see why some lines need to be drawn. When someone speaks of just Meghan and Harry, it makes it sound like they're a special case, looking for more protection than exists. So let's keep it down to just celebrities. It won't provoke those who like to go ballistic whenever her name is mentioned. Another royal fan expressed this opinion. Why don't you like Meghan Markle? I don't know Megan personally, and I've never claimed to. In my line of work, I've been trained to listen to not only what was said, but also how it was said, vocal inflections, movements, mannerisms, basic body language. Megan's words and her body language are at odds with each other. She says one thing, yet her body tenses up. Her movements are more grandiose. Her eyes are moving. Her gestures become bigger. She spouts psychodrivel. She's always overblown with emotion. It's all an act. Oh, sure, there's some real emotion there if you dig down far enough, but it's mostly her playing whatever part she feels is required. And she's not that great an actress. I, too, am glad that Harry and Meghan are living their own lives. They certainly deserve to. But the people of the UK don't deserve to foot the bill. They should be able to live however they want to live, on their own dime. Not the taxpayers' money. Not Daddy Charles' money. Not the Queen's money. But their own. They are both wealthy. It's time to cut the apron strings. They want to be self-sufficient, so go be self-sufficient. And do it quietly. Frankly, I'm tired of their childish ploys and endeavors to stay relevant in the media. Another added, Harry and Meghan should stop being scroungers and start standing on your own two feet instead of letting Charles and the taxpayers money so that you can live in the land of luxury. Gosh, your life must be so boring. Two people at your age just sitting around a very large mansion that Charles and the taxpayers are paying for. Don't you feel guilty? I can answer that question myself. No, you don't. What has Meghan done for the UK? Oh, I also can answer that question. She just spends lots of money on clothes, like there's no tomorrow. I was glad when I heard you were giving up your titles and leaving our wonderful country. But again, Meghan has no intention of staying. She made quite a lot of comments regarding the toxic royal family and the British people. You don't even know me, so why call me toxic? So I will now say exactly what I want to say about you, even though I don't know you. But I have got a pretty good idea about you. You were only a D-list actress, and you're expecting Hollywood to call you. I'm afraid you and myself are not getting any younger, so why do you just accept what the British people have done for you?
Unfortunately, some people seek to elevate themselves, at least in their own estimation, by crafting a sort of tenuous connection to the wayward Duke and Duchess of wokeness, by rushing headlong to defend them against every slight, not realizing how ridiculous they make themselves look. In a way, they remind me of the parents who indignantly exclaim, my child would never, despite there being video evidence of the child doing whatever is alleged. How about you? What do you think of Meghan Markle taking advantage of both her husband and son? Please let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share with your own followers. And as always, subscribe to our channel for all the latest news on the royal family, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.